Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and Emma Raducanu, the US Open champion, has been given a wild card into Indian Wells. She's actually going to miss out on the tournament altogether because she wasn't getting a direct entry a couple of weeks ago for making the US Open final, of course, winning the whole thing. Now she's into the actual draw. She's actually seeded as well. So let's go have a look at the seeds for the Indian Wells tournament. So of course, Indian Wells, it's called the fifth slam because there's a lot of players playing and it's got 32 seeds in this one. Let's start down the bottom with a 32nd seed, Georgie. Of course, she won a big tournament a couple of months ago in Montreal. So she gets seeded at this event. Podoroska's 31, Tormos the 30th seed, Azarenka the 29th, Zedinshek 28. The 27th seed is Kudamatova, Ostapen goes the 26th seed. Finalist of the US Open, Fernandez. She gets 25th seed. Collins at 24. Badosa at 23. Mukova at 22. Kazakina, the 21st seed. 20th seed is Pagula. Contivate, who's been in some good form lately. She's the 19th seed. And there it is, Raducanu. She is the 18th seed at Indian Wells, which means that she won't have to play against some of the big guns in the first round. Andrescu, also a Grand Slam champion and US Open champion. She's at number 17. Goff at number 16. Mearns at 15. Rabakina at 14. Jabor at 13. Simona Halep, she's number 12 seed. Anjali Kerb is the 11th seed. Pavlachenkova at 10. Bencic at 9. Kvitova at 8. Zakari at 7. Muguruza at 6. Svitolina at 5. Krejcikova, the French Open champion at number 4. Sviontek, last year's French Open champion at number 3. Pliskova at number two, and Sabalenka is the number one seed after Barty withdrew from the tournament. So there you have it, the seeds for Indian Wells for the women, and Raducanu, the number 18 seed, right in the middle there, but had to get a wild card into this event, probably because she missed the entry list for the tournament while she was playing the US Open, of course, went back to Britain, and she's been all over the news, signing all these new deals, playing with the royalty. I mean, she's been all over the place, uh, met Gala as well. So she's been very busy over the last couple of weeks after winning the US Open, so maybe that's why she didn't get to get a direct entry into Indian Wells, but she's playing now, thanks to a wild card, and of course, she has to play. She's the US Open champion, and we want to see her again. Let me know down in the comments below, how far can she go in this tournament, because everything she seems to play seems to be a win for her at the moment. She can't lose at the moment, so let me know down in the comments below, how well do you think she can go at Indian Wells? So Amarada Kanyu, she's back in action for the first time since winning the US Open a couple of weeks ago.